What's up? It's Richie with Static Frank Football. This is your Week 13 NFL preview. We got three games on Thanksgiving Day. Uh, one with uh, uh, in, some with some playoff implications. I'll uh, point them out. First game: Chicago, Detroit. Not really in playoff implications there. Bears are five and six. They are very. They're like two games behind the wild card spot. Um, uh, they're coming off a 19-14 win over the Giants. Trubisky, 278 passing touchdown, but he threw two interceptions. Allen Robinson, six catches, 131 in touchdown. They only had 65 rushing yards and turnover twice. Detroit lost to Washington, 19-16. Driscoll, 207, one touchdown, but three interceptions. He did run for 63 yards. And they actually ran for 175 as a team. Defense had four turnovers. Or offense, they, they turned over four times. Defense had three sacks. I think this might be a pretty close game. Both teams aren't especially very good. Stafford seems like he'll still be out. I'm going to go Bears here just based on their defense. Uh, Bills and Cowboys, this is a pretty big for wild for playoff uh, implications for both teams. Bills had that top wild card spot, and they should be. They want to try to maintain that. Cowboys are only one game ahead of Philadelphia in the division, so if they want to maintain that lead, they, they'll have to come out with a win here. Bills beat the Broncos 20-3. Josh Allen, 185 passing, two touchdowns a pick, plus 56 rushing. Uh, Devin Singletary ran for 106. They put up 424 yards. Defense had four sacks and only allowed 134 yards in that game. Dallas coming off a 13-9 loss to New England. Dak Prescott, 212 passing a pick. They put up 321. It was a defensive game. They turned over once, but it led to a field goal and had a pl block punt which led to a touchdown, which they lost. I think this will be a really interesting game. It will be really close. Good offense against good defense. Um, I don't know. The Bills just played the best defense in the league. And, or, I mean, the Cowboys just played the best defense in the league. And New England Bills have one of the best defenses in the league. I'm actually going to go Bills here just based on their defense to get a, get a, a pretty big win there. All right, the Saints and the Falcons. Uh, Saints trying to maintain a possible first-round buy in the playoffs. They, they're right up there with a few teams. Um, they they came, had a uh, last-second win over Carolina and Austin game 34-31. Drew Brees, 3-11, three touchdowns a pick. Michael Thomas, 10 catches, 101 in a touchdown. Defense had four sacks. Atlanta, they lost pretty badly to the Bucks, 35-22. Matt Ryan, 271 passing, but threw a pick. They only ran for 57 yards. They turned it over twice, whereas the Bucks got the win there. I think the Saints want revenge for a couple weeks ago. I think the Saints should get the win here in the Falcons. Jets and Bengals. Jets had a surprising win against Oakland. Not it's surprising they won, and they beat him 34-3. to Sam Darnold, 315 passing, two touchdowns, plus one rushing. They put up 401 yards of offense. They had a pick six, only on 208 yards. Derek Carter getting benched in the game for Oakland. And the Cincinnati, they lost again. They haven't won one yet this year. They lost to Pittsburgh, 16-10. to Ryan Finley, 12-26, 192 and a touchdown. Tyler Boyd, five catches, 101 and a touchdown. They only had 244 yards. Defense did have three sacks. I think this would be kind of, maybe kind of close, but I think the Jets should win there. All right, Titans Colts huge game. Both teams six and five, both right there. Pittsburgh six and five in the wild card, but the, both are right there for that wild card spot. And they're only one. Each team is only one game behind Houston for the division lead, which Houston also plays New England this weekend. So this there could be a shakeup for wild card and division spots after this game is over. Tennessee killed Jacksonville forty-two to twenty. Tannehill, 259 passing, two touchdowns, plus two rushing touchdowns. Derrick Henry, 159 rushing, two touchdowns. A.J. Brown, four catches, 135, and a touchdown. They put up 471 yards, and defense had three sacks. Indianapolis lost to Houston, 20-17%, only 129 passing, ran for a rushing yard, touchdown. Jonathan Williams ran for 104 and a touchdown. They put up 175 rushing. I'm going to go Colts here. Colts defense is good. Uh, Brissett, I think, has been playing solid all year. They have a bit of a running game with Williams or Mack, and I think Mack might be able to go. So I'm going to go Indianapolis. should be a, an interesting game, but I, I'm going to go Indy to, uh, in the end there. All right, the Eagles and Dolphins. Eagles 5-6, and six, but they're, like I said, they're only one game behind Dallas for the division lead. They're coming off a 17-9 loss to Seattle. Wentz, he had a terrible game. 256 passing a touchdown, but he threw two picks and fumbled it twice. They turned over five times in a game. Their defense... Kind of kept them in it. They had six sacks. They had two turnovers, but it just wasn't enough. They lost. Miami got killed by Cleveland, 41-24. Fitzpatrick, 214, two touchdowns, two picks, plus one rushing. They only had 284 yards and turned over twice. I'm going to go Eagles here. I thought Miami might have been turning a corner, but they weren't. 
So I'm going to go Eagles here to win. Packers and Giants. Packers trying to keep pace for... And actually, 8-3 uh, and three with Minnesota for the division. So they're just trying to win a division, get into the playoffs. Um, they got killed by San Francisco, 37-8. One of the worst games Rodgers has ever had. Only 104 passing yards. Only 198 total yards for Green Bay. Defense did have three sacks, but that was it. They were killed. Giants lost to Chicago, 19-14. Daniel Jones, 150 passing, two touchdowns. Uh, they only had 243 yards. They did force two turnovers. I think Green Bay bounces back here. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to go off. I think Green Bay should be able to take care of the Giants and and uh, and uh, help themselves to a better spot in the playoff. Browns and Steelers. This is big. Like I said, Steelers right now have that sixth wild card spot in the AFC. Only at six and five, and the Browns are only one game behind them at five and six. So the Browns can take this, even the record. That'd be big for them. And everybody, a whole lot of other teams in, in the AFC. The Browns are coming off a big win over Miami, 41-24. Baker Mayfield, 327 passing, 3 touchdowns. Nick Chubb, 106 rushing and touchdown. Jarvis Landry, 10 catches, 148, 2 touchdowns, 467 yards, 4 sacks, 4 2 turnovers in that game. Steelers had a close win against Cincinnati, 16-10. Mason Rudolph started. He was 8-16, 85 yards on a pick. He got benched. Devlin Hodges came in. 5-11-118, and a touchdown led them to a win. Defense had four sacks, two turnovers in that game. Steelers defense is playing really well, but I'm going to go Cleveland here just because the quarterback situation in the Steelers seems to be iffy. I like both quarterbacks, but it just seems a little inconsistent. I do think this will be a pretty close game, but I'm going to go Browns actually getting the victory um, there. It might be, the Steelers might be motivated because of what happened two weeks ago with the Miles Garrett helmet slap thing. Right, Redskins taking on the Panthers. Redskins actually won, won in game with Dwayne Haskins. They beat Detroit 19-16. Ha 16. Haskins terrible though. 13-29, 156-6 in a pick. They only had 230 yards of offense. They turned over twice. Really, they had three field goals and a kick return touchdown. Defense though played great. Six sacks, four turnovers forced. Carolina lost a, a really good game against New Orleans. They lost on a last second field goal, 34-31. Kyle Allen, 256, three touchdowns. DJ Moore, six catches, 126, two touchdowns. They actually missed two extra points and missed the field goal, which they should have won that. Panthers are a few games out of the wild card spot. If they want any chance, they got to get this win, and I think they will. I think the Panthers should take care of the Redskins. All right, the Bucks and Jaguars. Bucks coming off of a win over Atlanta, 35-22. Winston, 3-13, three touchdowns, two more interceptions again. That's 20 on the season. Um, Chris Godwin, seven catches, 184 yards, two touchdowns. They put up 446 yards, but turned it over twice. Defense had six sacks, two turnovers, and a fumble return touchdown late in the game. Jacksonville got killed by Tennessee, 42-20. Nick Foles, 272. They put up 369 yards. Defense had turn two turnovers. I'm actually going to go, I'm finally going to pick the Bucks here, just because even though Winston keeps throwing interceptions, it seems like they can move the ball. Jacksonville, since Nick Foles has come back, stupid move by you guys. Gardner Minshew had them rolling. Uh, Jacksonville hasn't been the same, so I'm going to go with the Bucks here to get that win. All right, this might be the game of the day. The Niners and the Ravens, this may very well be the preview of the Super Bowl. Both teams, legitimate. Super Bowl contender Lamar Jackson for the Ravens probably going to be the MVP. 49ers defense is great. Garoppolo is playing playing well. Their whole team they're ten and one. Baltimore's nine and two. San Francisco destroyed Green Bay thirty seven to eight. Garoppolo two fifty three two touchdowns. George Kittle six catches one twenty nine and a touchdown. Defense had five sacks and only held Green Bay one hundred ninety eight total yards. Ravens. Destroyed the Rams 45 to 6. Lamar Jackson 169 passing, five touchdown passes, plus 95 rushing yards. Mark Ingram ran for 111 in a touchdown. They put up 480 yards, only allowed 221 on defense. This is tough for me to pick. San Francisco has to cross the country to play Baltimore with the way Lamar has been playing. This is I'll be really interested to see interested to see how he fares against the Niners. Oh man, I with the, I kind of want the Niners to win in a way, but the way Lamar and the Ravens have been playing. Oh, man. I'm going to go Ravens here. Gosh, I'm going to go. I think Lamar's got it going. I'm going to go Ravens here, but that should be an awesome, awesome game and a preview to watch. 
All right, then you got the Rams, 6-5, and five, taking on the Cardinals. Rams right there, a couple games out of the wild card. Sorry, they've been playing terrible, though. Rams just got killed by Boston Moore, 45-6. Jared Goff, 212 passing, two picks, only 221 yards. And that game, Arizona's come off a bye. They lost a pretty close game, 36-26 to San Francisco. Kyler Murray, 150 passing, two touchdowns, plus 67 rushing and a touchdown. Uh, they only had 266 yards, though. With the way Rams are playing, I would not be surprised that the prize of the Cardinals win. I'm actually going to go Cardinals. I like Kyler Murray and the Rams have been sucking. So I got I got them. I got the Cardinals there. All right, Chargers taking on the Broncos. Chargers coming off a bye. They lost to Kansas City 24-17. Rivers threw for 353 yards on a touchdown. We had four interceptions in that loss. Austin Eckler, eight catches, 108. They put up 438, but they had those four turnovers. Denver, they just lost 23 to the Bills. Brandon Allen, terrible game, 10 of 25, 82 yards and a pick, only 134 yards. I'm going to go Chargers here. Denver hasn't been doing much of anything this year. At least Chargers have been competitive reasonably, and I'm going to go Chargers there. All right, Raiders and Chiefs, big game for for the division and for playoff spots. Raiders are 6-5, and five, Chiefs are 7-4. They're like one game behind the Chiefs. If they can win, they should be able to at least have a better spot for a wild card position, if not the division. Oakland, though, they got killed by the Jets, 34-3. Carr, 127 and pick. He got benched. They only had 208 yards. Casey coming off a bye. They beat the Chargers, 24-17. Mahomes, solid. Okay, not great. 182, uh, passing a touchdown or pick. But it, it was really defense. They forced four turnovers in that game to win. I'm going to go Chiefs here. with the way Raiders have a, have a shot at winning this, but I'm going to go Chiefs here. Chiefs have been, with the Raiders losing like that to the Jets, uh, they were too inconsistent. I got the Chiefs. All right, big one in the AFC, Patriots and the Texans. Patriots, um, number one in a seed, number one seed, Texans leading their division right now. Uh, New England, best defense in the league. They just beat a, the number one offense and held them to nine points, 13-9. to nine. They won Brady, not great, 17-37, to 37, 190. He did get the touchdown pass. I believe defense played well, though. They had a block punt, forced a turn over in that game. Texans coming up with a, a much-needed victory against Indianapolis, 120-17. to Watson, 298 passing, two touchdowns a pick. Will Fuller, seven catches, 140. They put up 396 in that game. I'm going to go New England here. Patriots, like I said, it's been their defense. Brady and the offense will get it together at some point this season. Watson may put up a little bit on them, but it's kind of the same same thing they just faced with Dak. Dak can run it a little bit and, and throw it. It is in Houston, though, so that will make a difference. It's in that dome. But I'm going to go Patriots here to uh, eke by. But that should be a pretty close game. Then a huge game on Monday night. The Vikings and the Seahawks both are the top two in the wild card spot. Both jockeying for a position either in a wild card or they're right there. Vikings are 8-3 with Green Bay on the top of their division. Seahawks are one game behind, behind San Francisco. So this is big for seeding at least. Um, the, both teams should be able to make the playoffs regardless of who wins. But this could make a big deal for seeding, for division races, and all that. Minnesota's coming off a bye. The last game was a 27-23 win over Denver. They were down 20 0 at halftime in that game. They came back to win. Kirk Cousins, 319, three touchdown passes. Stephon Diggs, five catches, 121, and a touchdown. They only had 37 rushing yards, so they're going to need to get Cook going to try to get keep Seattle off the field. Seattle, close win against uh, Philly, 17-9. Wilson, 200 yards, a touchdown and pick. Rashad Penny, though, went off for 129 and a touchdown. They did run for 174. Defense had three sacks, forced five turnovers in that game. This will be a really good game. I think it probably could be kind of high scoring. I'm going to go Seattle in the end to, to win this one. Russell Wilson, is, you know, he's another MVP candidate. Kirk Cousins has been great with the Vikings, but I think Seattle just might have the slightly better overall team. I think this will come down to the wire that could could now to uh, touchdown missed or made, a field goal missed or made, a last second interception, something like that, last second sack. But I think the Seattle will come out on top. Are those my NFL picks for this weekend? Check out all my college and everything else. Leave, share this, leave comments, everything. Peace. Lost all hope and wake up, try to find my focus Me someone new, but the walls ain't broken It's a never-ending circle I'm in time
down slow when you're on your own hand Miss seeing that name on your phone hand Phone rings, not your heart slow, man Why you gotta switch up the plan?